Hey Daniela, I made it. It a holiday today. Yes, it's Easter. That's why I have the ears on. <laughs> so, Peter, is it working? Does it run smooth? Peter's my husband. That's the guy sitting right there. Right there. <laughs> so, okay. We are continuing on the Christmas snowy night. I can see and I can hear you. Ah, perfect. <laughs> um, I'm continuing with this one. Um, we have been making a lot of furniture for now. I know it's a Christmas thing, but I want it to be done before Christmas and I don't um, want to work on it unless I'm live or unless it's small things that I'm making. So we have been making a lot of small things and um, we are going to continue. Peter, you have to turn off your sound now. Um, clock sh chiming. Yeah, that's uh, my living room clock. Uh, I think you could hear that one. So today we are starting with this little um, shelf unit thingy uh, where we need to make some flower pots and stuff like that. And then hopefully we are going to make this gate as well. So we will see how long we can get. Hi, husband, he says. <laughs> Say hi. Hi, <I> Phil. <laughs> okay. Um, I did a little work um, before we started today because um, it originally, not originally have this yellowish color and I really don't like that one. Um, so I colored it. So uh, this was the original color and the dark blue here is the one I painted it into. So, okay, that just disappeared totally. Just let's put that back on here. Um, I'm going to use my Patex wood glue because I really like that kind of glue. So I'm just gonna put a tiny bit of that right there. Yeah. And and um, I'm going to start with the bottom shelf here I'm sorry if it's a la little lacking right now but um, I hope you can see it anyway so I'm just going to put a little glue on there and then put this little shelf on if it's possible without breaking it there we go and then the same on the other side I might have to take all the shelves here before I uh, put that together so I'm just going to glue a tiny bit on there and then pop in the little shelf <laughs> now it's on chart for some reason so let's do it like that and then glue here and here and that one see if I can pop that onto the other side here there we go this one and the top one. So the top one is giving me a tiny bit of problems here. Um, let's see, now the bottom here jumped out. Uh, go on, down there. There we go. And then this one right there. And the bottom, and it's not a jar, of course, it's a shelf. There we go. And it's totally crooked. Let's see if I can make it look right. There we go. So that's the first part. That's shelf. 
So let's uh, put that to the side so it can uh, dry a bit before we put the things in there. That was my husband's phone. And so slim. So my husband says um, the stream is not going that good. Um, so Steve, could you tell me if you see this nice or if it's uh, really lacking a lot? I would like to know that. Looks good. Yes, it turns out uh, turned out really good. Very nice little shelf. Um, looks like it's lacking a bit, but if it's working, it's good for me. So I need to make these two pots with flowers in. And I found the pots here. Um, they're actually really pretty. I don't know if you can see the details here on the camera, but they have really a lot of nice details. Then there is two small flowers here and I'm supposed to glue them into these pots here. Okay, so I'm just going to what you can't see here over the side. I've just dipped it in a little glue and I'm just popping in the flower. And I'm gonna do the same with this one, dip it in my glue and pop it into this um, little vase or what it is, like that. And I hope they will stay there. Oh, let's get that down here so you can see it. So that was the two vases. Then I need to make this one with these balloon-like things in there. Um, I have found this little piece. And of course I found these balloon balloony things. It was chubby a few minutes ago, but seems to be running smoothly now. Okay, thank you for telling me. So anyway, this green one has some uh, weird marks on it. I don't like that one. So I think I'm just going with the red and the orange here. Um, so they're supposed to be not that long. I want it to be able to stand here on this little shelf here. So no taller than that one. So I'm just going to cut them into, into size. And that went flying. There we are. Put that to the side. Away with you. And just gonna cut all four of these. There we go. Um, and I'm going to glue them here into this thing. Okay, they fit very perfect. Um, maybe I should glue that onto the shelf first. This little middle thing. So I'm just placing some of my, uh, this is my super glue gel. I like this gel part. Um, what there, there it is. So I'm just uh, looking at my picture and it's kind of standing right in the middle on that shelf. I know that's hard to see, but I will show you. So it's sitting right there in the middle of the shelf. And then we have these flower pots that I just knocked over and they are both going on top shelf. Let's see how they look in the bottom. They also have just like a beet hole here. Actually, I think it's beets. So I'm just going to pop that here on the top. 
and then the other one next to it. There we go, like that. And then it looks like that I'm going to put all the books that we made last time. Um, last um, live stream, there was this uh, piece of paper with books on. And I showed how to make one of these books. And then the rest I made um, after the live stream. So they are really tiny books with small pages in there. Um, and they are kind of uh, placed here on that middle shelf. Um, so I have a few different here. So I'm not sure how to do this, but maybe just uh, dip the bottom of it into the glue. And then place it here on the shelf. They should actually all of them go on the shelf. Uh, but if I'm doing it like this, I'm not sure there's room enough for them. So I could be... Um, yeah, I need to figure out how I want to do this. Oh no! Please stay. Um, I need to uh, get some of these books to close a bit more. So I'm just placing a tiny bit of glue on the pages here. To keep them closed. Like that. And I think I'm going to do it on one more. So just a tiny bit of glue. This way it will uh, actually bind a little quicker if you don't use too much. So I can uh, place these again, tiny bit of glue, and I'm gonna pop it onto the shelf here. And place the book on the glue and then a little bit more glue on that book and placing the next book on top of that one and I could actually pop a book more in here so I'm just gonna dip that in my glue and place that next to the first one that I glued in here and hope it will stay. Got a tiny dot of glue I didn't want there. So now I have four of them. Oh no. I still have this fifth book. I could put that down here actually. Um, I'm gonna glue the sides here together. Like this. So is it lacking really a lot? Because if it's lacking too much, I will uh, end off with making this one and then we will have to try next time instead. Because it's... Um, too annoying when it's lacking like that. Okay, I'm going to shut this one down and then I will try to start another one.